it's a beautiful day for rock hounding. And Shadow and I are gonna go out on a little adventure to do just that. We're gonna go to a place uh, called Gold Strike. Gold Strike Road <laughs> on the way to Gold Strike Mine. Sounds pretty promising, doesn't it? And we're gonna do some rock hounding, although not for gold. I'd like to do that, but that's not what we're going after. Uh, we're gonna be going after some uh, rock that I found there before, which is a hematite banded with jasper, a red jasper. It's beautiful and it polishes up just spectacularly. There's a lot of other things we could find out there as well, but that's kind of what I have on my mind as we're heading out. So where are you, Shadow? Come here, little buddy. Come on. Up you go. Go, go, go. I'm often asked by viewers where some of these locations are that Shadow and I go on our little adventures. So I decided I'm just going to explain up front rather than having to uh, respond to the comments or via email. So we are driving about 35 miles uh, northwest of St. George, Utah. At this very moment, we're driving through the little town of Santa Clara, and we're going to go through this town and then through the Shivwitz Indian Reservation, and then we're gonna turn right and go up towards Gunlock, past the Gunlock Reservoir, through the little town of Gunlock, which is a cute little town, by the way, then come to a uh, hairpin turn, and right there is where we exit onto a dirt road called uh, Gold Strike Road. So we'll show you when we get there. Shadow needed to get out and run around. It's a little windy. Shadow is a Jack Russell Terrier mixed with a little bit of Rat Terrier, and most Terriers don't like water. But, of course, Shadow is one that does. Uh-oh, there's a bird. He's going after him. <laughs> oh, brother, it's gonna be a mess. Come here, little buddy. Come here, little buddy. Let's see if, you... oh yeah, he's gonna go for it. He's gonna go for it. That's a pretty rock right there. Let me wash it off. It's not really as waxy as I'd like. Oh, that's a beautiful rock. Still got some mud on it. Well, after a swim in the Gunlock Reservoir by Shadow, we are continuing on. I want to point out that this reservoir this past fall was really low, and this has been a great winter of snowfall, and it's almost back up to its uh, normal levels. It definitely will be by spring when the runoff occurs. We haven't even had the runoff yet. This is the hairpin turn I was talking about, and we are going to take this little dirt road, Gold Strike Road, Slaughter Creek Road, Two Miles Enterprise Reservoir, and Veo 3. I've got in mind where I want to go because I have found some of this hematite jasper before there, so we're going to try to find that same location. But we'll also explore some of the geology of the area, and you know, I might as well go on record right now. I am a amateur rock hounder. I had one geology course in college. Uh, I don't want to pretend to be a geologist. Uh, and so if you see something in the video that is interesting or that I get wrong, please comment because I'm learning along with many of you. Uh, but you know, my channel is The Adventures of Shadow because we have great adventures, rock hounding and also amateur astrophotography. But we do manage to find some pretty good specimens when we're rock hounding. Uh, we have a lot of fun and, and we do have success, uh, but um, yeah, let it be known 
I'm just an amateur. Well, we've stopped the car. The road is muddier than I expected, and I can see there's snow in the mountains up ahead. So we're just going to stop right here. And there's a gravel pit on the other side of this little mound. And this is a good place, I think, uh, to find some interesting uh, rocks. We're going to walk along it and see what we find. This is kind of interesting right here. It's dark, somewhat heavy. I believe this is a, a hematite jasper. Let's take it back and we'll throw it in the tumbler and see how it turns out. That thing is beautiful. That is not something you throw in the polisher. It's just a beautiful rock. I'm going to take that home and clean it up. Well, this is a beautiful jasper. Deep red, very waxy. This will polish up very, very nicely. Yeah, I think we're finding some really great specimens along the cut of this road here. This is another nice piece of uh, hematite jasper. It's very heavy and uh, you can see it's waxy. Uh, we'll, we'll be able to throw this in the polisher. This will, this will polish up real nice. Um, I'm really pleased with what we're finding around here. Now this is heavy. This is hematite with some jasper blended in, but this is a heavy piece of hematite, very metallic. It will it will polish up beautifully. That is hematite with kind of a reddish jasper mixed in. That is heavy. That is microcrystalline. Well, hey, we found some interesting stuff just right along the cut of the road there. But it's not a cold day. It just is a little too wet to keep going up that road, which uh, is okay, you know. Just know on Gold Strike Road, you can find a lot of stuff on both sides of the road. And the further up you go, the more variety there is. You know, it's a good place for uh, rock hounding, Gold Strike Road. Okay, we have arrived at Gunlock Reservoir. The geology around here is varied from sandstone to volcanic. It's a, a great place for rock hounding. Well, here's a piece of hematite jasper right here. That's a really nice specimen, the perfect size to throw in the tumbler. I'm going to keep this one. Well, this is a nice uh, shiny, smaller, but really good specimen of uh, hematite jasper. This will go great in the tumbler. So that is right there. A hematite with jasper running through it. We'll clean that up. That will polish real nice. That's a nice one right there. Here's a good example right here of a hematite with banded jasper in it. Metallic, smooth, waxy. This will polish up beautifully. What is he doing? What are you doing? Seriously, do you never learn? Look what we have found here. These are petroglyphs. I did not know there were petroglyphs around Gunlock Reservoir. But this is a, a beautiful boulder just covered with petroglyphs. I've, I've done a few videos on petroglyphs in the area, so I'm not totally surprised. I just didn't know that there were petroglyph boulders uh, around Gunlock Reservoir. When I get back, I'm going to have to Google and uh, learn about these. Uh, this is really a great 
rock of petroglyphs. I, I wish I could read them and understand them. We don't know what they mean. We need a Rosetta Stone of sorts, and we don't have one. But these are really cool. I doubt there would be just one boulder of petroglyphs. I'm sure there's more. And if I were to guess, that they typically are up higher, like up there on those uh, lava formations. Well, Shadow and I are back, and we had a lot of fun. And I have here a bowl of some hematite with banded jasper rock that I had found up uh, along the uh, Gold Strike Road, further than we were able to go, particularly when you come to like a stream bed on the right. And it's rich with these, but these have already been polished up, so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. I'm hoping this will show. It's very metallic once you've polished it really metallic and you can see the the red jasper banded through there this one's a little fragmented but they're just spectacular here's another nice one this one is uh the the red is a lot darker harder to see but they're just gorgeous really super metallic the way they polish up here it's another one. I think you might be able to see the banded jasper throughout that. So I've got a whole bowl here full of these things that I found up there. There's another one right here. This is a nice one there. Some other odds and ends mixed in here. This one was a little duller, but still beautiful. This one's super metallic. Sometimes my GoPro doesn't show up close very well. Well, it never shows up close very well. But I'm hoping you can see that. That's got a beautiful design in there. Can you see that red jasper laced throughout there? It's gorgeous. This one here is a little more dull. Still got some pretty pattern in it. A little more fragmented, but still beautiful. Yep, so these are some other jaspers that I've found all throughout the area. I've got, I got bowls and bowls and bowls of these things. So I googled Petroglyphs Gunlock Reservoir. I wasn't the first to discover them, obviously. But yes, there are petroglyphs, and there are dozens of well-preserved petroglyphs that are scattered around on numerous basalt boulders. Uh, but you can Google it and find more. There's a trail that takes you to lots and lots of more. I'm looking, yeah, up high, right up on that same hillside that I was kind of guessing. That's right where they are. I kind of guessed right. Thanks for coming along with us. We had a lot of fun. We hope you join us on future Adventures of Shadow.